Are we good? Are we ready? Are we live? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian and today we're gonna have a video on a topic that's quite different from what I usually do here in the channel. So the topic of skincare has been requested by many of my friends and also my subscribers here in the channel as well, especially from my last video, which is 50 facts about me. So in the video, one of the questions were biggest insecurity in my skin, especially in high school, very severe scale of acne and that is an absolute fact growing up my skin was really really good and clear but then eighth grade happened i started to notice some bumps on my left cheek and since then my skin just spiraled all the way down during high school i experienced the worst time of my skin it was so bad that i would have pimples on top of pimples on top of pimples that my pimples would turn purple and if i just touch it even lightly or i sleep on that side of my face it would bleed out and pus would come out so bad that i was so self-conscious about my skin i tried every possible product that you can think of proactive neutrogena cetaphil even non-fda approved products kajic soaps peeling things toners of every kind clindamycin capsules mixed in toners honey or baking soda everything i have tried everything and nothing would happen. I visited a total of four different dermatologists. I received steroid shots. I received three minute consultations without a dermatologist even touching my face and prescribing me all of these things. I have went through everything possible just for my skin to clear. I was so self-conscious. I would always wear a hoodie even during summer just so that I can use the hood to hide that side of my face. I can say that my skin has gotten better over the past few years. Even now, my skin is not perfect. I definitely have acne scars. I also break out here and there too. I even have dark spots here. And this is why I made this video as sensitive of a topic it is to me. I want to share to you for those who are still suffering from acne and acne prone skin, the skincare that I have carefully and personally tried on myself that worked for me. Just a disclaimer, I am not a dermatologist, I am not an esthetician, I am not a derma or a cosmetics nurse or skin specialist or any of those type. I am a registered nurse but my specialty is cardiac. I can tell you anything about the heart, not the skin. So just a disclaimer, everything that I will say is what I have learned and I hope to share. Please don't take it as a diagnosis or any of the sort. I would say that both my PM and AM routines are very similar. Simple. They're not like those 13 or even 20 step Korean skincare. Because of the many products that I have used on my skin, I have become very sensitive to many products. So let's start out. My very first step is cleansing. For the past few years, what I've been using as my cleanser is from CeraVe, which is their gentle hydrating cleanser. I love this cleanser. It's very soothing. It's very gentle. It's very simple. It does what it does, which is to cleanse. And plus it has ingredients that moisturizes the skin like ceramides and niacinamide. It's also non-comedogenic, which means it doesn't block pores. But for the past month, I actually switched to a different type of cleanser. And I would say that it does feel great on my skin. And that is... La Roche-Posay's Tolerian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. It's basically the same exact thing as CeraVe's Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. It's just that it has an extra ingredient of its famed thermal prebiotic water. So what we have in our skin is a microbiome. It's basically a universe of healthy bacteria on our skin. And when the balance of these good bacteria are toppled, skin irritations and issues arise like eczema, psoriasis, acne. And the hope for this prebiotic thermal water is to support the diversity of that microbiome. Anyways, let me wash my skin first and let's apply our La Roche-Posay cleanser. <laughs> so basically it's this very milky consistency. And what I do with my cleansers is once I apply them, I let them sit just for a while. Before using CeraVe or La Roche-Posay, I would use a cleanser with salicylic acid and glycolic acid to peel, also to target my acne. But then I realized that my skin would really get irritated. Also because after I used those products with active ingredients in it already, in the further steps of my skincare, I would use more actives. And it's either these products will conflict each other or they will amplify the effects of each other and then my skin is just 
irritated. Prior to that, I would also use some bar soaps to make cleansers, which is really not good as bar soaps have very high pH level. So the pH level is a measurement of how acidic or alkaline or basic something is. Our skin's pH level is between 4.7 to 5.5, which is a very acidic. So you would want that all the products you use in your skin are also acidic. On top of our skin is something that we call the acid mantle, which is basically the skin barrier that protects our skin from the outside environment. And alkalinic or basic products chips off the acid mantle of our skin. And La Roche-Posay and CeraVe's pH level is 5.5, which is really great. So let's wash off this concert. So when I dry my skin with a towel, and it is SpongeBob that I've had for a decade now. I just dab. I make sure that I don't tug or tear my skin with forceful movement. Another thing that I do is I don't completely dry my skin with a towel. I leave some sort of moisture on the skin for my next step, which is my CeraVe PM or nighttime moisturizer. So moisturizers like CeraVe fall under a class called occlusives. So water in our skin cells can be lost through environmental factors like evaporation or humidity in a process called transepidermal water loss, which in turn leaves our skin really dry and lacking moisture, lacking water within the cells. The goal of these occlusives is basically to occlude the outer layer of our skin from letting water be lost. That is why I leave my skin somewhat moist so that remaining moisture from the water they wash with will be occluded and kept in my skin with occlusive. <laughs> And my third step is my actives, which are basically the ingredients that really target the skin concerns that I have. You've probably seen it all across social media like Facebook or Instagram ads or YouTube ads. Probably like you in the beginning, I was very skeptical about it, but I gave it a try because I was so desperate to find an answer. And then over time, with patience, it really worked for me. It is this. Curology. This is really what saved my skin. So Curology is basically an online personalized skincare formula based on questions asked when you get introduced to the website. For example, what's your skin issues? What's your skin type? Is it oily? Is it dry? What products have you used in the past and have they worked? And also you provide three photos of your skin. In the end, you get paired up with a provider who will work with you in this journey to provide a specified formulation for you with three different ingredients and different percentages. Anyways, I started Curology in October 2018 when my skin started flaring up again because of nursing school. So I provided my skin's pictures and I was provided my formulation. It took some time to work. I remember that my skin got worse first after a few months and I did keep holding on and over time it started to work and I believe that was my miracle worker was those three. Niacinamide, azelaic acid, and clindamycin. And it might not be the same for everyone again. So my skin started clearing up and all I was left with was post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which is remaining dark spots from the inflammation caused by my acne. So I said can we start on retinoids now? That's my current curology formula for a year now. Tretinoin 0.035%, azelaic 5% and niacinamide 4%. So tretinoin belongs to a class of vitamin A derivatives called retinoids. I consider retinoids to be the fountain of youth. It's really marketed for anti-aging and for acne. Its exact mechanism of action towards acne is really not definite except for the fact that it blocks excess oil in the glands which leads to clogged pores. As for anti-aging, tretinoin is really only one of those few ingredients that has shown to truly reverse the histologic changes and skin damages caused by UV radiation by the sun rays. By by histologic, we mean to the cellular level, which means things that you can actually see underneath the microscope. An amazing mentor of mine, Dr. Daniel Sagai, who is a not so much, just a Harvard trained board certified dermatologist from Seattle, says in this YouTube video about retinoids that vitamin A derivatives like tretinoin peel off the outermost layer of the epidermis called the chatum corneum via a mechanism of an increased rate of skin cell turnover. Because of this peeling, the underlying layer, the dermis, signals a protein called collagen as a scaffold for the skin support and structure to make a new and replenished layer which gives new and clear skin. Because they really do 
believed in the power of retinoids. Even before my curology formula was made with it, I used SkinCeuticals Retinol 1.0. So retinol is also a vitamin A derivative, but it's over the counter because it is not active yet like tretinoin. It actually has to be converted by special enzymes before it becomes an active metabolite in the skin called retinoic acid. But it does have its benefits. <laughs> the second constituent in my curology formula is niacinamide, which is a water-soluble form of vitamin B3. Niacinamide blocks melanosomes. It's basically pigment factories, which is very helpful for me because one of my main concerns is hyperpigmentation. And the last ingredient of my curology formula is azelaic acid. And what azelaic acid does is it calms down inflammation. And inflammation is a great drive towards hyperpigmentation. And above all that, azelaic acid is antimicrobial. So it just adds its bacterial fighting power against bacteria, which is linked to acne. <laughs> and really try it out and see for yourself if it works for you because it definitely did for me. It is my saving grace. And to top off my night skincare, one of my main concerns is also my lips. It really gets very dry, especially in the winter. For that, I put two things on my lips before I go to sleep so that my lips are well hydrated and soft. So the first thing I use from SkinCeuticals is basically an antioxidant lip repair. It just has restorative properties. And I top it off with Aquaphor. And I started using Aquaphor for everything because of Dr. Sigai. So it's like a Vaseline consistency and I just top it across my lips. Actually, I just don't top it off. I smother my lips with it. And that's it. I am ready to sleep for tonight. See you. morning, I am back. Welcome to my AM routine. So first off, I just wash my face. I actually don't use any cleanser in the morning. With all the products that I have put, my healthy oils have accumulated over the night on my skin. I don't want to strip those, so I just wash my face with regular cold water. And that's it. <laughs> Welcome back to Spongebob. <laughs> Now that I have dabbed the towel onto my skin, I leave some bit of water, some bit of moisture on my skin. So the very first product that I actually apply on my skin in my AM routine is an antioxidant or my vitamin C. So what I use is SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. And I dab, 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 dab. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what is the importance of vitamin C? Why do I use it? Vitamin C is a normal constituent in our skin and it has many functions, more so known for its brightening effects. Brightening of complexion, dark spots, melasma, and just protecting the skin barrier. It is actually seen to decline over time as we age because of free radicals. Free radicals are unstable atoms that causes damage to our cells. For example, UVA and UVB rays from the sun, car, gas pollution from outside, cigarette smoke, even engine exhaust. And what free radicals cause in our skin is a process called oxidation. It's basically when an atom or a molecule becomes unstable. And a day-to-day -day common result of oxidation is the rusting of metals. And basically that's what's happening to our skin over time with the accumulation of free radicals. Hence the term antioxidants. It's basically preventing our skin from rusting. SkinCeuticals is a brand that I have been using for a while. It was introduced to me by my friend Aline who is my esthetician here in New York and I really love the quality. Anyway, so the second ingredient of this product which is a vitamin E derivative and and the last constituent of the CE ferulic is 0.5% ferulic acid, a plant-based antioxidant. Basically works hand-in-hand -hand or synergistically with vitamin C to amplify the antioxidant properties. Like I said earlier with the wanting to keep my face just a bit moist, it's because of this berry, <laughs> which is also from SkinCeuticals, HA Intensifier, HA standing for hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is is a hydrator and hydration is all about water in the skin cells that's what causes it to look plump or glassy or bouncy and I really love this because of the color actually look at it isn't that beautiful <laughs> 
So humectants like hyaluronic acid are hydrators that draw water into the cells that causes the skin to feel plumpy and bouncy again. Of course, general hydration is achieved by drinking water, but we can lose all of that hydration because of external and environmental factors. So hyaluronic acid is a sugar molecule that is normally also found in our cells. So it helps bind water to collagen to cause that dewy and bouncy and glassy look. What hyaluronic acid does is it increases and aids hydration but not necessarily cause it, which is why it's very important to still drink lots of water. And with the fact that it does help water to bind to collagen and just generally hydrating our skin, it reduces the looks of fine lines, the wrinkles, lines, 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 all of those other lines. And who doesn't want that? I'm trying to look like I'm in my 20s forever. <laughs> and we have arrived to the very last part of our AM routine, which is... <laughs> my sunscreen! I use CeraVe's AM Moisturizing Lotion with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. UVA rays penetrate deeper into the skin. They can even penetrate through glass. On the other hand, we have UVB rays. They don't really penetrate the skin as deeply, but their effects are seen almost immediately. It's what causes photo damage and sunburns and hyperpigmentation. Generally, I wear sunscreen every day, even if I'm staying at home, even if it's raining outside, because even if you don't see the sun, those UVA rays are still penetrating the glass in our homes. Sunscreens and SPFs are generally used to protect against UVB rays. Not much so UVA rays given of how deep they penetrate. That is why it's important to use broad spectrum sunscreens because they tend to offer some form of protection from UVA rays as well. Synthetic sunscreens are more lightweight. You really don't see it. The only problem is that when you place it on, it doesn't work right away. So you have to wait 20 to 30 minutes before you should actually go out into the sun. And then there's mineral sunscreens like CeraVe, which is creamier, it's quite heavier, and it tends to leave a white cast on your skin like I realize right now here this is why some people don't want to use it but the benefit with mineral sunscreens like CeraVe is that once you put it on the protection starts right away and you can just go out into the sun and go on your way but once I put on my sunscreen I am ready to go <laughs> So that is all for today. Thank you for staying tuned to my AM and PM skincare routine. And I hope you continue to stay safe. St huh? <laughs> you continue to stay safe amidst everything that's still going on in the world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and happy, everybody. Bye. 2,000 years later. So I just realized that I still have white casts. So I might even consider using a synthetic sunscreen and just wait for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm just kidding. I love my CeraVe. Bye.